Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we are going to look at a false widow spider and a false widow spider egg sac. If you remember, we did that video with the black widow spider. And we looked at that black widow really close up, so now we're going to look at this false black widow. And I'm sorry I keep calling it a false widow, but a false widow is different than a false black widow. False widows don't live in my area, false black widows do. So around here we just call them false widows. If you're not sure about what I'm talking about, look it up on Wikipedia or look it up on the Google machine and that will explain all that. Now this spider, this false widow, false black widow, it, it's dead. I think it's spider babies killed it. And looking at the egg sac, let's look at the egg sac really quick. I thought I saw something moving in there and it might be a teeny tiny little spider. That's something that we've seen with the Black Widows also. Sometimes a Black Widow spider will eat the spider baby. Sometimes a spider baby will get the Black Widow spider. Now, okay, this is leaking a little bit. It kind of got a little leaky when I picked the spider up to put it on the microscope. Those are his spider juices leaking out or spider goo. But we don't care about that, so ignore the spider goo there. And let's look at the spider. Now, looking at this spider, you are not going to mistake this for a black widow spider. I mean, I guess you could, but... So when I have a film a black widow spider, somebody says, No, that's a false black widow. No, okay, look at This is brown. Those are black or blackish or purplish. A purplish widow? Yeah, spiders are creepy. All right, so now let's concentrate on the egg sac from the false black widow spider and all this other stuff that's stuck to it. Kind of a dead cricket and some other stuff all just wadded into this web. And that's one of the main differences between the black widow spider egg sac and the false black widow spider egg sac, where the black widow has this very tight ball of an egg sac that she will move around to various places. False Widow doesn't do that. False Widow makes the egg sac and leaves it there. It's not that she's lazy, but in her defense, this thing is this horrible blob of a thing, and you can't just pick it up and move it as easily as you could the ball like the Black Widow egg sac uh, makes. So yes, it's another way to tell if the spider's a Black Widow or a False Widow. If the egg sac looks like this, well, first off, you already know it is not a Black Widow spider totally different kind of egg sac and I, I don't even know if I can open this up it's just I think the eggs are just kind of plopped around yeah it's just yeah it's kind of horrible but it definitely shows you the contrast between the false black widow and the black widow not just the way the spider looks because sometimes the false black widow if it's a little darker and you don't see it in the right light. And, oh my god, it's a Black Widow spider! And then you see the egg sac. Okay, that is not a Black Widow spider's egg sac. Alright, so what do you think? Cool, not cool? You ever looked at things that are really small? You ever look at them, make them really big? <laughs> Leave your comments in the comment section. And hey, as always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.